What's up guys and today we got a dual review between playoff Tevin Coleman and out of position Mike Evans. Now the reason this video might seem a little short for a dual review because it did not take long to figure out what these guys did best. So here we go 6'1", 92 speed, 87 agility, 90 ball carry, 87 juke, 88 truck, 88 carry, 93 excel, 86 elusiveness. Now does also have a very nice 92 spin which I will talk more about that later. Now 6 foot 1, 92 speed and 93 excel man that is a very good rating. This guy is definitely very very fast you feel it as soon as you hit the turbo button. And there were plenty of times where I thought he was going to get caught from behind. Not the case man I was very not surprised but pleased I, I should say with his ability to just take off and be gone so if you want to just bounce to the outside and not you know lean on juking trucking stiff arming spinning all that that's completely fine so as, you, as you can see right here man when he's gone he's gone i think there's maybe only a handful of players in the game right now that, that can catch tevin coleman in the open field when it came to trucking as you can see right here it was average i mean so many times i would you know just not get any yards at all Stiff farming was a little bit better. I got a whole bunch of drags. I believe this right here was the one animation I get, but pretty much just drags the entire time. So trucking and stiff farming just average. Now when it came to catching, he actually reminded me of Tyreek Hill in the sense that he'll catch most of them, but once in a while stuff like this will happen. He'll just drop a wide open pass. So even though he's not gonna drop most of them, trust me, he will drop them. Like out of ten times, he might drop one. Is what I'm saying. And when it came to the carry rating, he only took like 5 hit sticks, but he did fumble once, so the 88 carry did show his face. Now this right here blew me away and confused me at the same time. His spin move was ridiculously good, man. I could not believe how effortless he made it look when I was trying to spin past my opponents. Now here's the thing, here's why it was confusing. He has a 92 spin, but he only has an 87 agility. So many running backs I've tried who have really good spin move ratings but low agility and they struggle and I blamed it on the agility. For some reason Tevin Coleman was completely unaffected. You would have thought that was LaShawn McCoy out there running these um, or uh, doing these spin moves. I actually had like six or seven more of these clips to show but I, you know the video was getting a bit too long so man I would say lean on the spin and then right here lean on the speed. Tevin Coleman not a great power back you know to my surprise but an amazing uh, spinning running back so if you like to spin with your running back man Tevin Coleman is the guy his truck his stiff arm his juke they were just about average not too much of a surprise I mean his uh, truck stiff arm everything is like in the 80s uh, mid 80s high 80s so not too much of a surprise not that expensive he goes for like 60k and I'm sure his price will keep on dropping so if you will like I said if you pick him up man lean on the speed lean on the spin which brings us to out of position Mike Evans. Now I do have some of his chemistry boosts, but as usual, man, without him, he's gonna be just fine. Now he's not that fast at 89 speed, but 6.5 and 92 zone, man, that is very useful. Immediately reminded me of Paul Krause in terms of being a strong safety that's very tall, very good zone. Not the best tackle rating, but we'll talk more about that later. 94 spectacular cash, man. Reminded me a lot of Deion Sanders just in that term. To just just that nothing else but anyways what worried me at first was his tackling because you know Paul Krause did let me down a few times when he came to tackling that was one of my issues with him that did not show up with Mike Evans man he was making some crazy one-on-one -on -one tackles sometimes like right here he saved my ass right there Barr let me down but then Mike Evans came and saved the run from being worse so to my surprise I think he had like a total of I would say 15 uh, tackles but only one of them got away from him Guys, to me, that is an amazing percentage. I mean, it just blew me away. Him and Tevin Coleman, man, they both surprised me. No doubt about that. So if you're uh, thinking about picking up Evans, but you're worried about him dropping passes, I mean, uh, <laughs> missing tackles, don't worry about it. Look, I mean, look at that. He even caused a fumble. And the last thing that I wanted to see from him was his zone coverage. And trust me, man, a great zone safety. No doubt about that. Great hands. He did drop that one pick, but I mean, Nobody's perfect, right? And he does have an 85 man, but come on, man. Would you trust a corner with 85 man? So don't put him in man to man. Just put him in a zone. He'll be just fine. And you see right here, man, just a great ball hawk safety as well. So that's going to wrap this up, guys. And for those of you who are new, and if you're wondering why Mike Evans' review did not seem that long, it's because when it comes to a safety, I just need to know two things. Can you stop the pass? Can you stop the run? That's it. And as you can see, man, he did both just fine. So... 
he goes for like 250 or between 250 and 270 and to me that is kind of expensive but if you got the coins and you need a good safety try him out see what he can do for you see if he fits your scheme but anyways guys i'm not sure yet who i'm going to review on offense next but i will let you guys know of course let me know, uh, let me know in the comments who i should review next on offense and defense but anyways guys oh actually on defense i'm going to review the new kj right that just came out picked him up i actually might even review the uh, kicker Gus Goskowski, Goskowski, however you pronounce it. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys for the, those uh, reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.